beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching i'm sheree welcome if you happen to be returning you are truly appreciated thank you so much and welcome back continuing on with my spring fragrances you guys here is another set of my favorite fragrances to wear in the spring um in the summer fall i mean you guys these are just fragrances that i have been playing with and i absolutely love them and i want to share them with you as well i believe i have 10 here one is an honorable mention i am mentioning this fragrance because i'm on the hunt for a rose fragrance if you've been watching the channel you already know that i'm on the hunt for a rose fragrance i did reach out and grab this one again i'm playing with it again it wasn't a love at first sniff but i'm wanting to see if it offers a little something more and i actually want to hear your take on this so on this fragrance i want you if you have it to go ahead and leave in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on it here on this channel I do cover fashion beauty luxury and lifestyle if you like any of those things or all of those things go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button don't stop there go ahead and press the notification bell that way it will notify you every single time there is a video placed on this channel let's jump right into this video coming in in no particular order I am going to start with the honorable mention this here is rose elixir I believe and all I have you guys is my little sample that I received from my monthly subscription service of Royalty Sense. Royalty Sense is a monthly subscription service. If you do not know anything about that, you guys, all you have to do is check out my channel. I have tons of videos on Royalty Sense. I will also have some information in the description box below, but this is where I received it from. I'm looking for a rose fragrance and I played with this um, sometime last year. And to be honest with you, I didn't love it. You know, it's okay, but I didn't love it. But I did want to recommend it to you because a lot of you were like, girl, I love rose fragrances too. Let me know what you think. This might be one that you might want to get a whiff of. You might want to sample. This here is Rose Elixir. It is by Mont Montel. Am I saying that right? Montel. Yes, it's a white floral. It's sweet. It's rose. It's citrus. It's strawberry, jasmine, orange blossom. It really is good amber, musk in the base vanilla it's a spring summer fragrance it is beautiful it just doesn't have enough oomph for me because you know i want it to be rose but i want it to be sexy i want it to be kind of spicy i want it to be warm i don't know i just have not come across the right rose fragrance yet and you guys are so kind you're sending me so many messages like girl check out this one check out this one so thank you for that as soon as i'm back in stores i will definitely check those out this one is really good it's just, it's more of a fresh fragrance in my opinion. Um, it's very flirtatious, I would say. It's good though, it is good. If you want something, you know, and you like those notes, like I said, it's very fresh. I do want it to have a little bit, um, I don't really get any sexy from this. And you know if it's not sexy, say it with me, one, two, three. I don't even want it in my collection if it's not sexy. I mean, you already know there's a time and a place, but come on now, if it can get sexy, I want it sexy. This is good though, and this is Rose Elixir. Uh, I mean, this is Montel, and this is Rose Elixir. This is an EDP. It is really good. If you're looking for something fresh, that would definitely be a way to go. Okay, another one I'm gonna move into that I think is beautiful. I picked this up sometime last year. I can't recall when. You guys, this is Chloe Namad, and this is Absolute. This is Marble Plum. This is Sandalwood Musk. It is very, very beautiful. It is a very elegant, grace, sophistication, classy type of fragrance. And oh my gosh, they have open LA back up. So as soon as we go back out to brunch or high tea or shopping or afternoon dining, I cannot wait to rock this. It is so, so good. It's so elegant. It's so classy. This is something you would wear on a Sunday brunch, a Sunday afternoon tea. It's definitely giving me all those type of vibes. And it is good, good. I move on. Chloe Nomad. This is not the original. This is the absolute. A little darker, deeper, sensual, warmer. I love it. I move on. I'm going to mention this one because there's no way I'm going to do a spring list and this fragrance will not be in the countdown in the list. It's going to make every list. Okay. It is on my for life. If there was only 10 for life, this is on it. And that is Delina. Absolutely, hands down, perfumes, Damali, Delina. This is not the exclusive. This is not La Rose, although that would be beautiful as well. I absolutely love this fragrance. I'm not wasting it. 
spray it, spraying it on a card, you guys. I tell you this all the time. This is beautiful. This is rhubarb. This is lychee. This is that effervescent, upbeat, happy spring, dainty, feminine, sexy type of fragrance. And I just absolutely love it. This is just spray on. Go about your day. I definitely get daytime date vibes. I get first impressions. I get um, first time dates. I just get something that you would spray if you just want to feel fabulous honey and you're leaving the house for the day this is your last accessory you're topping it off you're spraying it all over your clothes i can go on and on about this fragrance i oftentimes tell you guys it reminds me of a bottle of champagne with a nice strawberry at the top it's very fizzy it's very happy it's very upbeat i have the candle i have the hairspray i have the body cream anything they make with this fragrance i'm getting it okay because i absolutely love perfumes de molly delina i move on another one that i have not spoken um, about on the channel that much and that is this one here. This is Dylan blue you guys I happened to wear this out. I was out and I was going to oh my god I was going to Sephora and I was like, oh, let me just pick something up like an easy reach and just spray it on and go about my day This is Dylan blue. Let me show you the bottle. I know you probably have seen it It's not new. It's been around for a while, but you guys but this is really good. This does not fail I am going to say this I know there's a lot of mixed reviews on this. You guys, fragrances are very subjective. I always encourage you to start with the sample to try before you buy. However, I really, really like this fragrance and can truly appreciate it. It does have reminisce and smells very close to um, DKB Delicious, the green one. I know there's another color one, but this one smells like the green one, just a very tad bit, but it smells more luxurious, more refined, and more, um, and, and well blended in my opinion. I'll give you a few, a few of the notes. This one here is a fruity floral. Of course it has black currant, it has rose patchouli, it has the Granny Smith apple. It is absolutely beautiful. This is something you would wear going out. Let's just say that you said, okay, people are gonna be in town, I'm gonna have company over, who cares? Um, or I'm just going out with somebody. Somebody's picking me up for the day. I'm going to lunch. I'm going to brunch. I'm going to church. I'm going shopping. I'm going to Home Goods. I'm going to Whole Foods. I'm going to run errands. This is you pin your hair up, put your hair down. Who cares how your hair looks? Just spray this on. It is fabulous. It is beautiful. It's a moderate in projection. It is very, um, long lasting like i didn't have to reapply it it was so beautiful because i was out and it was kind of cool it was probably about 65 maybe 60 65 it wasn't quite 70 because it was kind of breezy i had a light jacket on and i kept getting a whiff of this and i was like oh my gosh i really like this again it's really nice you know i haven't picked up some of my fragrances in the longest time because i just haven't been out and I haven't been going anywhere but revisiting this one again it is really really good if you're looking for an easy reach a fresh anytime anywhere any place even sexy dare i say it give dylan blue a try it is really a beautiful fragrance that is why i bought it in the first place Anyways, um, I move on. Another one. Oh my god, you guys, you have no idea how happy I am to be talking about my fragrances again. Because I have started looking for fragrances that were very light and very, you know, wear around the house because that's all we were going to. But they have opened LA back up for the 30th thousand time that I keep mentioning it because I'm so excited, okay? And I'm very excited to be reaching for my fragrances again. If you follow me on TikTok, I gave you a video sharing with you how my fragrances felt now that I'm reaching for them because we're going back out. Nonetheless, Troy, can you please stick to the video? You guys, this is Gentle Fluidy Gold by Maison Francis Kirk John. I have been speaking about this for the last year, two years and a half. I can't recall, but this is beautiful. If you're looking for something warm, sexy, gourmand, um, not really gourmand, it's not gourmand, but a warm, spicy, I feel it is in my opinion. Um, cardamom. It is such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. This is what you want to reach for. Not cardamom. Coriander. This Oh my god, it's so good. And I have so many memories with this. This is vanilla amber. It's a fresh spicy nutmeg. It is coriander. It is very beautiful. And I do mean kind of gourmand, but it's not really, but it is. It's super, super long lasting, very sexy, very enticing, very intoxicating. You can overspray this. This would be a beautiful everyday scent, signature scent, 
anytime, anywhere, any place, smell fabulous, rich vibes, luxe vibe type of scent. That is what you're gonna get from Gentle Fluidity Goat by Maison Francis Kirk John. Like I said, if you have not tried this yet, I highly, highly recommend getting a sample of it. I always tell you guys, when you are looking for Maison Francis Kirk John's fragrances, if you want to save a couple of dollars, you really want to go on Maison Francis Kirk John's website. Here's how you'll do it. You'll go on the website. When you go on the website, they're going to say, you know, international, uh, USA, blah, blah, blah. Always show, always choose international. You choose international. I was never charged any extra shipping or anything like that. I saved about 30 to $45 on the fragrances that I purchased. And then I was also given samples. I believe you get three to four samples. I think they changed it. I can't recall, but you get a few samples on there and they also give you a credit. So it is a win, win, win. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Also connect with me over on Instagram. I'll be happy to walk you through the whole process. I have done it many times before. I move on. Another one that is simply gorgeous is this one here. You guys remember I played with this one. Was it last year? I can't, I can't even remember. I think it was last year. This one here is Mon Pari. I absolutely love this fragrance here. It's very fruity. It's a fruity floral pear peony. Um, it's white musk. It is citrus. It is moderate in projection. You guys, the only thing that I do not love about this fragrance, but I did not want to not include it because I do love it and I, I just have to do what I have to do. I have to overspray this. I mean over, over, over spray. So you know how I do the sprinkler system? <laughs> No, we are doing the uh, sprinkler system, the water system, the sprinkler system again, the spray your clothes, spray your hair, hydrate your body. Hydrate. <laughs> it's a lot. It just doesn't have great um, longevity, but it's so good. I really think I'm going to find myself picking up the... Um, I think there's like an intense version or there's another one. It's a darker color juice than this or a darker color bottle, I should say, because I really do love this. It's very fruity. It's a fruity floral. It's perfect for this time of year, spring, summer. It's so pretty. It's so upbeat. It's so playful. It's so sexy. It's so girly. It's all those kind of vibes. It's pretty and pink kind of vibes. And I'm definitely feeling that. I just wish that it project a little bit longer or a little bit heavier, I should say. But you know, it's okay. I'm still, I would still buy it again because I absolutely love it. I am um, on the hunt for the body cream. Maybe that will make it last longer. I don't know, but it is a beautiful fragrance. So I wanted to mention it. Okay. And that is Mon Perry by YSL. I move on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This one here is, oh girl, fix your hair. Hold on, you guys. Hold on a second. Oh, by the way, you guys, this is the wig. Oh my gosh, did I tell you guys that? Oh, I shouldn't be pulling it like that. This is the wig, absolutely love it. The best thing ever, whole video on it. Okay, see the other videos, I can't. You guys, you already know, I gotta stick to what I came for, okay? Anyways, um, Tom Ford Rose Prick. Beautiful, 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 sexy. Now I am coming to you pretty soon with a spring sexy vibe type of fragrance this is definitely going to be in, in there this is beautiful this has the three different roses turkish rose bulgarian rose it is a beautiful fragrance szechuan pepper it has the patchouli it is just sexy you guys I absolutely love this this is my oh my god where have you been my whole life i know i missed you it's been uh, hold on you guys give me a second it's been a minute. I know, but we weren't going out like that, so that's why I didn't reach for you. But I really did miss you. I missed you. You missed me too. Okay. We missed each other. <laughs> we missed each other. You guys, this is such a good fragrance. I know a ton of you have it. A ton of questions I get asked on this fragrance a lot. Shrey, is it really all that? You guys, in my opinion, it is. I can't, I would not... I'm not gonna start lying today. I'm not a liar, I'm not gonna start lying. Ooh, my mom will be like, don't say lie, tell a story. She always made us say tell a story. She never allowed us to say lie. But I would not fib to you today. You guys, this here, Tom Ford Rose Prick is absolutely everything in my opinion. This is the epitome of me in a date. It is so sexy. Oh my God, it's just good. I told you this is love at first sniff. I went to blooming to so just merely get a whiff of it to just merely smell it and i was like oh yeah wrap that up i'm taking that home they were like you want it i was like absolutely wrap it up what are we waiting for there's nothing else to discuss she wants it so yes this right here is good good many many videos on my channel dedicated to that fragrance it is that good i move on another one yes okay i'm just gonna get this out of the way right now yes this 
has rim in it and it smells close to Baccarat Rouge 540, okay? I, like I said in every video, I'm starting to think just about everything smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. This here is Whispers of Truth. This is by the House of Siage. This here is the limited edition. This fragrance is absolutely beautiful. It has notes of grapefruit, bergamot, orange. It has rose, jasmine, musk, caramel, and it has musk. This is beautiful. This is so sensual. I have been sleeping in this for the last few nights and I absolutely love it. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I have a few of you that I told you I will keep going on the House of Siage website and then let you know when it goes on sale, if it goes on sale. So I will still do that. But you guys, if you have not had a chance to get a whiff of this, I highly recommend it. If you do not want to start with a full bottle, I understand it is very, very pricey. I encourage you to do what I did, which is go on House of Siage's website. They do have a signature scent of Discovery and then they have a Whispers collection of well as well as the Discovery set. So start there. See if you like it. But this right here is really, really good. It's good in projection. It's good in, you know, longevity. It gives about a six to eight hour. I do heavy spray. Let me say that again, again, and again. But this one right here, you cannot go wrong. It's beautiful for spring, beautiful for summer. I actually wear this year round, but I just think that it's really beautiful during the spring and the summer. I mean, Oh God, yes. It is good, good. Oh, it's good. When I first did my collection for the House of Siage, I said that one was my favorite and Passion de Lamar. And I have held to, to, I have held to those two thus far. Those are my absolute favorite. Okay, I have to move on. Another one, you guys, and maybe you can help me with this one. I need your help with this fragrance right here. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I am absolutely in love with, okay? I, I have received this from So Avantgarde, okay? They have the most amazing fragrances and they have them at a discounted price. So make sure you check them out. I will have a link to their um, website in the description box below as well as a discount code. So if you want to shop anything so at Vanguard, I do have a discount code. I will leave it in the description box below for you. But this fragrance is so good. But the thing about it is I don't get any compliments. I have spray so heavy and I go stand right by my guy like this. Like, <laughs> and he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, do you smell me? And he's like, no. I'm like, oh my God, but it's so good. Um, I smell myself. It's very tropical to me. It is so perfect for right now you guys it is such an amazing fragrance it's tropical it's fresh it has passion fruit bergamot lemon peach cinnamon amber vanilla musk it has woody notes in it it is a beautiful beautiful fragrance i absolutely love it i tell you the truth hands down kid you not this fragrance right here is good good okay oh god it's so good i have to is this gonna be my sin of the day i guess girl you're just going i mean it is so good Whoo, I love it. But no matter how heavy I spray, no matter how much of it I spray, it just, I can smell it, but it's not projecting. And I've put body cream on and everything on, it's not projecting loud, but I can spray it. And I mean, I can smell it. In my intimate areas, I can smell it. On my clothing, the very next day, two days later, I can smell it. I don't know, but it is a beautiful fragrance. If you have not had a chance to get a whiff of Quintacano, I highly recommend it. This is really, really good. If you have this, let me know and let me know the performance that you get from it on yourself. I move on. This is my absolute baby. I never called a fragrance a baby before, have I? You guys, this makes me feel some kind of way, okay? When we first got the news that we were gonna be opening, um, I was going out and I reached for a fragrance and to match the outfit and how I felt in my bag. This is a fragrance that I chose and this is BDK and this is Two Bros Imperial. Absolutely gorgeous. This fragrance made me feel so rich, so luxe, so high class, the epitome of luxury. It matched my outfit, it matched my handbag, it matched my decor for the day, it matched my mood, my vibe, and I was just like, Yes, this fragrance is giving me everything that rich Lux vibes can deliver. And I absolutely love this. I have been spraying this and wearing this like crazy. It is so good. I, I, I'm kind of low key saying that it kind of reminds me of a Chanel fragrance, but I don't know. It just gives me those, it just gives me those same type of vibes, but it's good, good. Let me give you a few of the notes just in case it is a floral 
oriental type fragrance it is a white floral fragrance it has jasmine iris sandalwood and it has peach in it patchouli this is really good it just gives me rich vibes i absolutely love it if you're looking for something on that caliber of a fragrance look no further this is the way to go it is sweet though i will say that but when you wear it out it doesn't feel as sweet because it feels more luxe and rich but in the house in close corners like when i'm just you know sitting downstairs on the couch i'll get a whiff of it and i'm like oh this is kind of sweet but when you're out it doesn't smell that sweet i don't know how to explain that but that's what it gives me i move on our final one this one here is by roja dove and this is elixir um absolutely love this one as well this here i will say is a very very soft fragrance so if you work in the medical field shout out to all of you somebody um recently said hey Sheree, thank you for um you know mentioning fragrances that are a little softer that are a little lighter some of us work in the medical field and we can't have all that hot heavy and spicy because you know how i like it <laughs> but this would be perfect for you this is very beautiful but it is very light it is not as light as a skin scent but darn close okay it is a beautiful beautiful scent um it just makes you feel like a goddess when you wear it i have not worn this since probably you know last year around this time but this is very seductive it is very essential you have to allow the uh, dry down to happen the magic in this fragrance in my opinion happens in the dry down and it's simply beautiful this is bergamot lily of the valley rose de Mai. it has peach it has cinnamon it has raspberry tons of notes in it very fruity oriental but not as heavy as an oriental but it is an oriental but it's a beautiful fragrance i will say this like i said it is very very light you do need to spray heavy and you definitely want to layer it with some type of body cream to get the projection to last and um give you a little bit more because it is very very light i have heard for i have heard from some that it's like a skin scent they have sprayed it on and have not smelled anything but in workplaces and different things like that a fragrance like this might be necessary and it's very high quality um it's a beautiful fragrance it is rosa you know so it's definitely quality there it just is a very light fragrance and that is it for my spring favorite fragrances this is not part two i'll just be delivering spring fragrances throughout the duration of the spring so if you're looking for any to add to your collection or maybe you're just looking for something new or you want to try something new i highly recommend these you already know how i feel about this try before you buy if at all possible try and start with a sample and see how you like it before you buy them i know some of these can be really really pricey so i want you to always invest in something that you really love some of you really enjoy the thrill of blind buying so have at it have a great time if you try any of my recommendations please let me know how you felt about them come over and say hi on instagram also leave any comments that you have in the comment section below i will link everything in the description box for you as well until next time guys you know the drill be blessed stay fit stay fabulous but more importantly wear your mask and stay safe thanks for watching guys bye